Hello everyone, my name is Shawneen Bruder. I'm a proud University of Guelph alumna and the Chair of the Board of Governors. Today, we're celebrating the University of Guelph's mission to improve life through its leadership in groundwater research. 50% of the world's population depends on groundwater for their drinking water, making it the world's most extracted raw material. Globally, groundwater represents a $400 billion industry. Yet groundwater resources are at risk from industry, food production, and overextraction. This risk threatens the health of humanity today and for generations to come. The G360 Institute at the U of G is determined to protect this vital resource through field-based groundwater research in Guelph, across North America, and around the world. Founded in 2007 by Dr. Beth Parker, the G360 is the focal point of a global collaboration of more than 20 institutions. G360 aims to understand the impact of contaminants and the overall quality and quantity of groundwater across the world. It's no wonder that Ted Morwick had the vision and forethought to invest in this important work. Mr. Morwick, a lawyer, cattle breeder, and published author, has had an incredible career and lifetime connection to the U of G. His interests span the program strengths of the university, from writing and literature, science and agriculture, to engineering and climate change. And we've been fortunate that Ted has supported those same interests through his philanthropy, which we'll learn about more later in the program. As a longtime supporter of the University of Guelph, Ted is once again demonstrating his generosity and commitment to improving life. Let's take a few minutes to learn more about the groundwater research and training happening at the G360 and the exciting opportunity Ted is bringing to life. Since groundwater is a hidden resource, it often gets misunderstood or ignored. It represents 99% of the available freshwater resource on the planet. Two of the major things that are impacting groundwater resources are population growth and climate change. The UN's predicting that there'll be 11 billion people on Earth by 2100. It's also going to be water quality impacts. very concerned about climate change all my life. Back in the late 1950s when Toronto expanded and they started gobbling up all this good farmland and they just kept expanding, all the farmland was disappearing. That's when I got really concerned. Water is life. Groundwater is everywhere beneath us, but not visible. It moves slowly through soil and rock, providing local access everywhere time for purification, and sustains flow in lakes and rivers throughout the year. However, our relationship with groundwater is poorly understood. Many people are facing serious water shortages because groundwater is used faster than it's replenished or is polluted by human activities. G360's become well known for the innovative tools that we're using at real field sites. And so we've been invited to work with other collaborating institutes at five of the seven continents around the globe. And here we are standing at the Scout Camp, which is one of my research sites. In the city of Guelph, we have the Aramosa River with a bedrock bottom, which makes it a bedrock river. And it's the largest community in Canada that's reliant on groundwater from bedrock systems. And one of our specializations in the G360 Institute is studying fractured rock hydrology. My research focuses primarily on rural groundwater systems, so I'm very interested in the interaction of food production and groundwater. Another layer is investigating climate change. We've been learning through our research that the scale of investigation is very important for addressing climate change issues. 
Knowing the resources and the personnel available that I would be able to work with was really exciting for me and I was just so intrigued by all of the really incredible and innovative research projects. As a community of Guelph, we're so heavily reliant on groundwater resources for our drinking water supply and I think groundwater is increasingly gaining attention, realizing that this is our main source of fresh water and something that needs to be protected. It's very important that we continue this work and Guelph is really a world leader. I'm very excited for this new facility. I think from a student perspective, there's just huge opportunity for experiential learning. This facility will serve as a hub for groundwater research. It'll give us the workshop and lab space that we need to actually develop these tools and instruments. This teaching side of this facility will help bring groundwater, which is traditionally out of reach, right into the classrooms. Graduate students are going to be able to use the facility to stage their research, to analyze their results. I'm really excited about the opportunity for more public outreach. It's important that we are able to increase awareness within the community. This gift is going to propel groundwater forward as a major research thrust at the University of Guelph and it's going to attract students and create a wealth of groundwater professional expertise that's going to serve Canada well into the future. The building will be for research and education and you know advance the technology as it relates to groundwater research. And I just hope that it will play a very significant part in that endeavor. The facility updates look incredible, and I can't think of a better place to expand these efforts than at the University of Guelph in the heart of the Arboretum. I also want to speak about Ted's passion for student success. Since 2010, Ted has supported 39 students through scholarships in creative writing at the College of Arts, summer research assistantships, and scholarships in aquatic biology. He just recently gave additional student support for water resource engineers. Who better to talk to us about the impact of TED scholarships than the students themselves? When I first received this scholarship, I was extremely happy and extremely appreciative as it allowed me to enter university and get settled in without the added stress of financial concerns. As an 18-year-old entering university, receiving this award felt amazing. Not only was it a confidence boost for what I had achieved in high school, but it was also a motivation for me to continue doing well and, and applying myself throughout university. I was incredibly honored when I found out that I had won this award. The scholarship was incredibly meaningful to me, both in the sense of the prestige that it carries, as well as by helping to reduce financial stress. It means that I'm able to pursue opportunities and interests that I wouldn't be able to pursue otherwise. I was able to reduce my hours at work and really focus on my thesis, which was very meaningful to me that I got to engage with that material that's so important to me. Similar to how this scholarship motivated me throughout my undergrad, it continues to inspire me to this day. I'm currently almost a year into my master's degree, and I'll always remember how this scholarship is what got me to this point in my life. I'll always need people to push me just a little bit farther, and Ted's generosity was that first gentle push that I needed. This scholarship has helped me get into my master's. It helped me finish my research that I was doing for my fourth year project. I feel like I'm a better zoologist, or at least a zoologist in training, uh, thanks to this award. This scholarship has allowed me to follow my dream of returning to university as a mature student. My PhD combined two of my favorite topics, water resources engineering and artificial intelligence. Your kindness and generosity have helped me pursue my dreams and goals while also allowing me to take the time for the things that are important in my life, especially my daughter. As of this spring, it will have helped me to graduate with a bachelor's degree. It has also allowed me to meet and work with you, Mr. Morwick, an opportunity of which I will forever be grateful and for, will never forget. I'm using my research to improve life by helping to prevent damage to homes and infrastructure caused by riverbank erosion. I'd like to be an instructor or some sort of educator in science moving forward, but to be able to spread uh, knowledge about wildlife and, and animals and just zoology in general uh, to, the, to the next generation. So Ted, I have quite a bit to thank you for. You didn't just give me the chance to get a degree. It was and still is so much more than that. Thank you so much, Ted, for all the work you do. Um, from me and the rest of the creative writing program, we appreciate you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you doesn't seem like a grand enough word to truly capture how grateful I am to have received this scholarship and for the opportunities it has provided me both directly and indirectly. I'm one of the many uh, people that have benefited from your generosity. Uh, so a direct thank you from me and uh, I'm sure I speak for everyone else when I say uh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. It's uh, truly amazing what you've done for the school. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to study my passions and to be a leader on campus. Thank you for all the interesting discussions that we had at our annual luncheons. But most of all, thank you for pushing me this far in life. Cheers, Ted. Knowing that Ted is watching today, I hope he knows how incredibly proud we are to have him be part of the University of Guelph community and how profound his impact has been already. His philanthropy supports the growth of our research and community partnerships and gives students the ability to truly thrive in their academic work and propels them to become leaders upon graduation. Now I'd like to turn the virtual stage over to President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Charlotte Yates, who will formally announce Ted Morwick's most recent gift to the University of Guelph. Nobel Prize winning biochemist, Albert Santiorgi, perhaps said it best. Water is life's matter and matrix, mother and medium. There is no life without water. Ted Morwick has been a long-standing friend to the University of Guelph, and today's announcement demonstrates not only his commitment to our institution and our values, but a deep commitment to the future of the planet. I am deeply honored to be able to announce a $10 million gift to the University of Guelph from Mr. Morwick. This visionary investment will support research in groundwater and climate change in a number of ways. $4 million will assist the university in renovations and capital improvements to the Bedrock Aquifer Field Facility. And in honor of Ted's tremendous generosity, we will be renaming the facility, the Morwick Groundwater Research Center. The newly named Morwick G360 Groundwater Research Institute will also receive $4 million to support leadership and an innovation fund. The fund will be led by the Morwick Chair in Sustainable Groundwater Research, which is awarded to Dr. Beth Parker a tireless advocate for the protection of this vital resource. This gift will also continue Ted's legacy in student support, creating summer research assistantships in the fields of water and climate change research. Both the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences and the College of Biological Science will each receive $1 million to further support this initiative. Ted, I would like to personally thank you for your long-standing dedication to the University of Guelph and to our shared mission to improve life. Through your gift, we will be able to provide the support our faculty and students need to discover and champion new and innovative solutions to pressing global challenges. Thank you, and I look forward to our continued friendship and partnership. Thank you, President Yates. As part of the official naming of the Morwick G360 Groundwater Research Institute, a new logo has been created, marking this important transition. This logo speaks to the legacy of the G360's work over the past 14 years and recognizing the critical scholarship that will take place in the new Morwick Groundwater Research Center. Symbols and names have meaning and often influence us in ways we may not immediately recognize. One such name is Albert A. Thornborough. By way of a shared town and a shared commitment to the University of Guelph, Thornborough was a key inspiration for Ted's gift today. Albert's granddaughter, Jennifer Steiger, joins us to share a little bit about this unique connection. My name is Jennifer Steiger, and I am the second oldest of Albert Thornborough's six grandchildren. My grandfather was a member of the Board of Trustees of the University of Guelph and worked hard to help raise money for different programs at the university. And to honor him, the School of Engineering building was named after my grandfather. 
My grandfather would be honored and immensely pleased to know that his work at the university inspired such a generous gift that also benefits such important research. Though they're of different generations, my grandfather and Mr. Morick both had strong rural upbringings on farms and those values were carried forward by each of them into their professional lives and into their philanthropy. On behalf of the Thornbrough family, I would like to thank Mr. Morick for his very generous gift in support of such important research. Thank you, Jennifer. We've come to learn a lot today about the critical role of groundwater in sustaining life on this planet. In fact, the United Nations has themed World Water Day next year, Groundwater, making the invisible visible. During my time at the University of Guelph, as a student, graduate, and a proud member of the Board of Governors, I have valued so many opportunities to learn about important issues facing our world. I've witnessed firsthand that investing in research and training can make a difference. On behalf of everyone who learns, discovers, and believes in the University of Guelph, thank you, Ted, for your foresight and generosity. Thank you for bolstering the researchers of today and for every future student who will benefit from your generosity. But our work is not quite done. And I know I'd be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to encourage each of you watching to be part of the Morwick Groundwater Research Centre by sharing your support. You can learn more by clicking the button on your webpage. Once again, thank you, Ted, and thanks to everyone for joining us today.